Hey, this is Carrie Ryan. I'm the author of The Forest of Hands and Teeth and The Dead Tossed Waves. Uh, today I am substituting for Leah, aka Thursday, and the topic is what I wish I had known before I was published. So I asked a bunch of my friends this question because I know what I wish I'd known, but I kind of wanted to get their feedback as well. Um, and they had a they had a lot of good advice. Um, first, and I hate to sort of start off with the one that's the most downer, but I wish I had realized that it doesn't necessarily get any easier. I've talked to so many published writer friends of mine who thought that once you had that book deal, it was all over and done, and it was sort of going to be sunshine and roses. And I remember what I felt like after I had just signed the deal, and there was this enormous, enormous pressure, this idea that because I had written one publishable book, that the next book should be publishable as well, which felt kind of strange because before that point, I had written several unpublishable books, and I wasn't really quite sure what had changed between these two points. So, yeah, it doesn't necessarily get easier, and I only say that because if you know it, then maybe you can be prepared for it. The good news for that is that having done it once before, I think it gives you the confidence to realize that you can do it again. But the one thing that I have learned is that I always hit a point where I think all hope is lost. I always hit a point where I think I've broken the book, uh, and because I've made it through that before, I have hope I can make it through again. So um, it doesn't get easier, but you know you've done it once before, and that should give you hope that you can do it again. The second is be careful with reviews. Um, don't read them. Of course, we're all going to read Kirkus and Publishers Weekly and Voya and those because those are sort of the official reviews, and those are the ones that go on our book jackets, hopefully, if they don't hate you you turn around and your Google alerts will be stuffed with places that want to tell you that you're fantastic or that you're horrible. And, you know, I have a friend who put it well when she said you're never as good as the great reviews say you are and you're never as bad as the terrible reviews say that you are. I think you have to be kind and gentle to yourself. Not everyone's going to love you and not everyone's going to hate you. And for the ones that do hate your writing, I guess you hope that they do so with passion, because inciting passion in people is is something to aspire to. I know I'm talking a lot about reviews, but there's one other piece of advice, and I kind of give it with a little hesitation, and that's be careful of what you write on your blog about other authors, and especially when you're reviewing their books. You have the right to say whatever you want to on your blog, and you have the right to like or dislike any book. Here's the thing. Google Alerts can find almost anything. I don't want to hurt another author's feelings, especially if I'm going to at some point be asking that author for help. Another thing I wish I had known is that the non-writing parts of this business can consume you very quickly. There is a lot of stuff to do beyond write. And at the end of the day, it's hard to remember that we're writers, that at the end of the day or the week or the month, we need to end up with more words than we started out with. Part of what can consume your time is promotion. Promo can be a black hole and it can suck away all of your time. I think some of the best advice I've ever heard was Allie Carter when she said, you can choose to promote the heck out of the last book that you wrote, but you could also spend that time writing the next book. I think her advice is worth it, that the best promo you can do for yourself is to write another really fantastic book. Sometimes it's not always about the writing. Sometimes it's about grabbing your cat and scratching his soft, fuzzy belly because sometimes you need some time away. Um, but in the end, um, I, think, I think what I'm trying to remember every day from having been published is to enjoy it. Oh, also, um, you're reading this on April Fool's Day. Um, JP and I just got married. Finally! <laughs> Thanks for watching. Wow, you get rained.